Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review are going to be some tool pouches brought to you by Welkin Land. Now how I came across these were, I've been eyeballing some Vito Pro PB uh, pouches like this for a long time. And I just basically didn't want to spend the money on them for the size of the ones that I were wanting. Because in order to get the size comparable to these, I was going to have to go to the Vito Pro PB4Ls, I think that they are. And those are going to run you about $65 for four of them which isn't crazy expensive but for what i'm going to use them for i just didn't want to spend that kind of money whereas these are going to run you 40 dollars for four bags so ten dollars a piece and i even got them for 35 so i got them a little bit cheaper and i think size wise quality wise all those things i think they're pretty comparable and i'm thinking i might need more than four so if I got mine for nearly half price, I could almost get eight of these for the same price of what I would be paying for those Vito bags, even though I really, really wanted those because I love Vito products. But again, it's not some, these aren't something I'm going to use every single day and all those things. And I'll get into that in here in a minute, why I bought them and how I'm going to use them. Uh, but let me go ahead and go over some of the features of the bags uh, so that in case you've been kind of thinking the same way as me and you want something like this, uh, this is basically... It says on there that it's a 13 inch bag. That's the one knock on most of the reviews that somebody actually was giving it a bad uh, review or complaining in some way. And I don't understand why they have it worded that way either. It's a, even on the back side of the box. Measurement wise, it's 11 inches this way, seven inches this way. And then they've got a two and a half inch measurement here on the bottom. And I think that's this measurement right here, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and it's very comparable to the size again of that PB4L. Uh, the Vito one's actually a little bit bigger. It's 12 inches this way, so it's one inch wider. And then it's nine inches, so it's two inches taller. And then it has a measurement of five and a half inches on this base. But again, I don't know because again, I don't have the Vito bags. I've never even seen them in person. That's not something that stores around me carry. So I have no idea, but you can spread out this Welkin land bag. Like if I fill this up and the bottom flattens out uh, from here to here is five inches as well. And that's what that Vito bag says. So I'm not real sure again, and maybe the Vito's drastically wider. Maybe it's not, uh, but I'm just giving you the measurements that they give. But as you can see, if I flatten that out, you know, I can, I can get a five inch bottom in this. So maybe you can let us know in the comments below how that works out if you've got a veto bag and you're checking these out as well uh, this is made of some kind of it's a 1680d ballistic material here that they have and that's to help keep stuff from puncturing holes if you put a tool or something like that in there but on the inside the whole entire inside is wrapped in this mesh plastic here so that's see-through and then also i would guess with it even being wrapped on the inside of this it's kind of water resistant. I don't know that they claim that in any way, but you know, you could set this down and even if this gets on something wet, it's at least got the plastic on the inside to keep it reaching through to whatever you have in the bag. And then this bag also has some clear on both sides. I think the Vito is only clear on one side and it has two, like a little divider that gives you two more pouches inside. So if you want to separate your stuff a little bit, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can put some stuff over in these and then also some stuff in the big spot. Or you can just, you know, push them against the wall and have one big open spot. Uh, but I think that's a pretty nice feature because there might be certain situations where you would just like to keep a few little small things separated so that they don't get mixed in with some other stuff. So that's an option with that. Uh, the zipper seems to be pretty nice. Uh, it goes really smooth. Uh, again, longevity-wise... I can't tell you anything about these. And then it does have a clip here. Uh, so you could clip that onto a D-ring on your bags. If you're carrying something in, uh, clipping it up in your work van on some kind of little peg of some kind or notch and then or in your garage, whatever it is. So again, quality wise, size wise or size wise for sure. And then the features of it are very similar to that of the Vito. I have no idea about the quality because again, I don't have the veto bag. So uh, here's what I'm gonna use these for. And again, you could use these for all sorts of things. You could put, um, and that's why I'm probably gonna buy some more maybe is for materials for certain jobs. 
but jobs that I don't get into much, but then that way I can have them on me in case I need them. And that's kind of the idea with this is what I'm using it for, but with tools, uh, again, I'm not a plumber. I'm not an electrician. I'm not a data person. I'm not a HVAC tech. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, and it just depends on what the customer wants from me and what that job is. And if I'm allowed to do it, all those things, but service calls I run into, sometimes I've got to fix someone's sink. Uh, sometimes I get into changing out or figuring out what's wrong with an electrical circuit at someone's house or their data stuff, or maybe I'm clearing a condensate drain or uh, all sorts of things that I might run into on a service call that takes specific maybe tools and I might could get it done with something else, but I like to use the tool that's better that I know that I have and either I keep these at my house right now or some of these, like these plumbing tools here, uh, these are inside of my pack out drawers inside my truck, taking up valuable space. Those are the drawers that are easiest for me to access that I would much rather put tools in there that I use on a daily basis than the ones that I might use two to three times a month. And so my idea was I'm gonna get these bags, put those tools in here so that I can store these and then whenever I need that tool, I've got it on me. Because again, I live like 20 minutes outside of the town that I primarily work in. So if I go to a service call and I've got to replace a shutoff valve and I really want to take off that compression ring and I want this tool, but I don't have it on me because I keep it at my house, I'm not going to drive 20 minutes to go get this. I'll end up taking it off with a pair of Cobras or I'll do something or cut it off or do whatever. But ideally, sometimes you can't cut it off. You don't have enough pipe or maybe you don't want to risk trying to take it off with something else because it might damage something or whatever it is. Or maybe I've got to fix some tail pieces or uh, redo the traps underneath of the sink. I'm not going to drive all the way to my house to get these. I don't like them taking up all that space, but I want to have them on my truck. Uh, so basically I could now fit, put these in here. So if I take these plumbing tools, you know, and I'm going to use this blue bag again, they give you four colors. You get a blue and orange, a black and a gray. So there's four different colors to help you kind of identify if you want to, to pick a color. I guess I'll use blue for plumbing since it's water. Uh, but I also like the fact that it's clear on both sides because that helps. You know, if I look in here and I see a certain tool, then I'm going to remember that's the plumbing bag because it's going to be hard for me to always remember what color I might have put something in. So, you know, here's the go, no-go gauge for your pecs and then your deburr at the same time. And again, if you're a plumber all the time, you might would want to keep these somewhere where it's easy for you to get in and out. You probably, probably even have this in your tool bag if you do pecs all the time or whatever it is. But that's just not me so uh, but I do occasionally have to go fix something and maybe cut in and add a little piece of PEX pipe in for a burst pipe or something like that uh, I would want to have that on me just so I don't have to buy that again because even if I've got to go to the store to buy parts if something like this is you know $15 or $10 whatever it is I don't want to buy it again I've already got it so I'm gonna put that in there uh, you know some sharp bite little removal tools, put those in there. And again, these are things that I'm not gonna use every single day, but I want them on me. Uh, so again, I can just keep filling these up. And I do keep a pair of these in my truck for cutting other things. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pair of these in this bag as well. Here's that rigid tool for, I really like this tool. It actually works pretty good, <clears throat> pretty good uh, for working underneath of a sink. If access is sometimes an issue, Again, a go, no go for pecs, something I'm not going to use all the time, tailpiece cutter. So just to give you, I'm only filling this up and showing you the plumbing one so that you can kind of get an idea how much stuff you can fit in one of these bags. And again, I can still see through here. It's not crazy see, see through because of the mesh, but you know, I can see through here enough to know, well, this is my plumbing bag. Uh, so it's going to be pretty useful. Now, as far as what you can fit inside of this bag, this strainer thing here, it's not going to go. It's still too big. And to be honest with you, I hate this tool anyway. So I only brought this out here to ask you guys, what kind of tools do you have for strainer baskets on sinks? Does anybody got something that's better than one of these? Because this thing ends up driving me crazy. I really don't like it. It's too big anyways. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got something that you use for those, all you plumbers out there. If you've got something that's a really good tool for 
installing and removing strainer baskets on sinks uh, let me know that down in the comments below so again all this fits in there you can see that that bottom kind of opens up definitely more than two and a half inches out here in the middle so you can get more and then it it's going to stand up you know fairly decent with all those in there so now all these tools where some of these i kept in my pack out drawers uh, now I don't have to have those in there. I've got those drawers empty. I can use that and now I can take these and I can store it inside my deck drawers uh, And then I could even push it all the way back in the back of it if I want to that spot That's really a little bit harder to get to and the times that I need to get these out You know, I can go get them out. I know I've got them on me. I don't have to drive back to my garage I don't have to repurchase them at the store to make it faster or anything like that. I know that I've got it on me just to make my job a little easier again. Now, could I get it done with a different tool? Probably so. Probably something else I have on my truck. But I just like knowing I've got it with me in case I need it. It's going to be useful to me. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with several electrical tools, uh, some data tools, some HVAC things. I'm just basically going to build out different bags and store them there in my deck drawers or I'm still working on my, I'm trying to figure out my setup on my new camper topper that I just got or it's a used camper topper. Possibly I'll end up making it to where I can just open up one of those and have a spot whether it's in a pack out crate or something like that that I can store these in. Again, just somewhere where it's not using up valuable premium space in my truck for these weird times that I'm gonna need these, but I have them on me in case I need them. So again, that's the Welkin Land tool pouches. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got these, especially if you've had them for some time. Again, because I can't speak about longevity, so help everybody out if you've had these for a while. How well have they been working out for you? Put that in the comments below. Uh, if you've got the Vito Pro PV4Ls and you really like them and you see something as I've showed you these that the, you think the Vito ones outperform these in some way, comment that down below as well. But I hope this was useful in some way. Hope it helps you out. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.